Hi, it's Kernetex here again with the next video in the series about Beyond Linux from Scratch version 9.1. So in the last video um, we went through in a kind of LFS book type of way, just going through chapter by chapter, section by section, just doing um, post LFS configuration. And um, now we've come to a point where they call it extra software. Um, the first section in the extra software is to do with security. Um, what I'm going to do is start to pick out certain packages and security. Um, and these are mainly to do with how they're described here as um, access type security packages, mostly to do with that. Uh, as I remember, some of the packages we'll be building later will call on some of these other packages in the security section, which I um, will obviously be installing if it's, if it's a requirement. Um, so I'll leave those until we come to that, that point. The other parts in this extra software bit are file systems and editors and shells, but I'm going to ignore these. I will be installing some of these. They're quite useful utilities to have. Um, but I really want to get on to trying to achieve a, a windowing system as early as possible just to make it easier to um, build the rest of the system. Um, it's, it's still quite a basic system. We've got a moment with only the text console. So the sooner we can get a graphics um, environment set up and a, a graphical browser, uh, the easier it will be for building future packages. So let's move on. As um, If you want to read this, I'm not going to go through this now, but basically it says there's three different types of security, access, prevention, detection. As I say, mo most of the packages going to install now are to do, are to do with access. So let's move on to the next section. Um, and it describes there about vulnerabilities and places you can find out um, announcements about security vulnerabilities as they become found. So the first package we're going to install in the security section is make CA. And this is the um, certificate authority package that allows things like HTTPS to work as well as a few other things that use certificates that have been signed and confirmed as um, valid for various reasons. So you can see here we've got a uh, requirement of P11 kit and some optional requirements. So as these are optional and it says their runtime, they don't need to be installed now. If they were just optional, I would attempt to install them here. But as their runtime, it's not um, as important. So what I'm going to do is just make a note of those packages um, on my list. Just so that I come back and put them in because they're optional. As I say, the optional tends to give more functionality. So that's that's my intention with this build, to gain as much functionality from each package as possible within the constraints of the BLFS book. So I'll just note them down and we'll be getting a list quite long. Hopefully some will be ticked off if they're mandatory requirements on some packages. And this is make CA. Okay, so at the moment, MakeCA just has a requirement on P11 kit. So let's have a look at that one. So that's got two recommended. One is LibTazen. The other one actually is MakeCA. Now, it's almost a circular dependency. It isn't quite because P11 
P11 kit doesn't actually need it until it's running so that's that's okay we won't need to install that when we install P11 kit but Libtazen is a recommended and that's got a couple of optional um, packages so let's see what GTK doc does which I'm not sure if that's for yeah that's for API documentation um, I've never really installed, well I have installed the API uh, documentation once or twice in my early days um, of building BLFS but I've not done it since then because an API is really for developers so um, it's probably something I wouldn't normally do but I think I might do it this time, in fact I'm not sure if the package may be a recommendation at some point so I am going to attempt to do it. It might be a bit awkward because we're not in the graphic environment. I think there's quite a lot of configuration, as I remember, from thinking the right packages. But we'll have a go and um, see how we get on. There may come a point actually where we get some dependencies that are actually. Oops. Um, dependent on the X server so obviously we'll have to come to a halt at that point and rebuild that package um, by the way perhaps I should explain why I'm getting all these tabs open um, this is how I manage or partly the way I've managed knowing what dependency I was, dependencies are built for a particular package um, so what I do is go through each of the links and center click them and what that does in the browser it opens it in a new tab tab in the background um, and then I'll go to that tab and then do the same and keep on working my way around basically it's a dependency tree until I come to the end so like I've come to P11 kit I'll center click on these two and look like so I, I think I'm gonna have a go at um, running these in as well so I'll bring those up and this is the run time so we'll probably need that for when we run P11 kit um, and I tend to go, what I do is tend to go to the end one that I've opened so that's NSS and find that dependency or the dependencies that requires and then just work my way backwards and uh, oh right, okay this has actually got circular runtime dependency as well So you can see quite quickly we're building up a, um, a, a queue of packages which need, which need to be built and this isn't the full queue yet because I'm only following down, down one branch if you like of the uh, dependency tree. Um, as we finish these I'll close them off and go back and see what, what I haven't done and just carry on like that. So for this one package it's could turn out to be that we're installing 20 packages the upside is that that's 20 fewer packages we have to build later on in, later on in the um, build process so it's not, it's not all bad we would you know we probably have to build these at some some point so uh, this has got optional dependencies now libedit I don't know if you can see it's a slightly different color blue it's a bit more bold that's a link to a package that's not part of the BLFS 9.1 book if you see the URL at the bottom in fact I'll open it in a new tab you can see it's taken me to the web page for that particular package now as a, a rule I don't generally build anything out of the outside of the BLFS book unless it's something I particularly need or want to install so I won't be installing libedit but unzip is part of the BLFS package um, so I'll be using that. It does say it's only required to unzip the documentation. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll take that because unzip's used by quite a few other packages. So I'll install it anyway now. Just scroll down here. This needs no other, it's got no other dependencies. So this is where I'm going to be starting. <coughs> 